Jeremy wants to know, I'm installing a new chain ring and I'm wondering if there's a specific pattern or way I should be tightening the bolts. Although this process may seem entirely too simple, there's more to it than just tightening the bolts down one by one. This holds especially true for people using carbon fiber components. There are three main components that will use a specific pattern when tightening bolts. They are chain rings and cranks, disc brake rotors, stem faceplates. Properly tightening your bolts in a specific pattern ensures even distribution of the load across the part surface. If you were to tighten the bolts one by one, the part may seat incorrectly and or end up with uneven pressure across its surface. The process for tightening the part will differ depending on whether you're working with a 4-bolt, 5-bolt, or 6-bolt part. Many different cranks and most stems utilize a 4-bolt pattern. Start by installing any bolts you'll be using hand tight. Start with the bolt in the upper left corner and tighten it down until it's just begun to tighten. From there, you'll repeat the same process on the bottom right bolt, then the bottom left bolt, and finally the upper right bolt, creating an X across either your stem or chain ring. Once all bolts are semi-tight, follow the same X pattern as before and go through one by one and tighten the bolts to their final torque specs. Many road cranks and chain rings utilize a 5-bolt pattern. Again, start by tightening them down hand tight in any particular order. All 5-bolt parts will be tightened using a star pattern. Starting at top dead center, tighten the first bolt until it's just begun to tighten. Going clockwise or counterclockwise, skip the next bolt and repeat the process. Keep tightening every other bolt until all 5 are slightly tight. From here, follow the same star pattern and tighten each bolt to its final recommended torque spec. Most disc brake rotors have a 6-bolt pattern. Once the bolts are hand tight, start at top dead center and tighten your bolt. From there, you'll want to go straight down, upper right, lower left, lower right, and finally upper left. Repeat the same process and tighten each bolt to the manufacturer's recommended torque spec. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you next week. If you want your question answered on Ask a Mechanic presented by Art Cyclery, send your inquiry to content at artcyclery.com.